1996, a Belgian tourist came across a statue while diving under the waters of the Adriatic Sea. It was a very valuable bronze piece made in the second century BC. The authorities presume it was ordered from Greece by a rich Roman citizen, but the 300 kilogram antiquity ended up being thrown from a ship on its journey due to bad weather conditions at the time. He's called Apoximenos, and he now has his own dedicated museum in Croatia. The idea came naturally after the statue was found and after preliminary research was carried out. It was realized that this is a very valuable object which ended up on the seabed. It's seen in the museum exactly as it was discovered. The idea was that the statue should be put on display the way it was found, which led to Apoximenos getting his own museum which is very rare, but is not entirely unique around the world. There are some other museums in Europe dedicated to just one artifact. But for that to be possible, the object must be very valuable and very interesting. And our Epoximenos is very valuable to say the least. The statue toured Europe before being given its very own purpose-built museum on a Croatian island telling the entire story how it was found and restored, its significance, and even how they discovered Mediterranean plants in it carried by a mouse thousands of years ago. The remarkably preserved sculpture draws everyone's attention. You don't really get the impression that the museum is all about just one statue. The feeling you get is that the museum and exhibition talk about an ancient time, about the entire process and so on. So it has several layers to it. My impression is not that it is about just one artifact, but something much larger than that. Because luckily, the concept of the entire museum was designed to be that way. They have really made an effort to present it in a way which is top quality. The artifact has quickly become a symbol of the island. From souvenirs to restaurant dishes, it's inspired. 